Thank you for introducing Mr. Yuan from Chinese Academy of Sciences. I'm so glad to present Dembo and Ji today. And this is a joint work of my student, my colleagues, Jin, uh, Zhang Zhenfeng, and our co-author, Jin Liao and Chang from University of Sydney. Uh, as we are in consensus day, and we all know that the central problem of blockchain is to build a Biden time for the tolerant consensus, where a set of nodes I try to maintain an ever-growing ledger of transactions in presence of some corruption. And we usually require two critical properties, and ours may know that they are safety and liabilities. We know it's necessary to consider network condition we are design uh, BFT consensus, and we have many network timing assumptions for the purpose, and among them, mm, asynchrony is a minimal one and uh, can ideally capture the unreliability of real-world internet. And the protocols designed for asynchrony can ensure both liveness and safety properties and dispatch an adversary controlling network. So such asynchronous protocols may have super robustness against the network attacks in contrast to their synchronized and partial synchronous counterparts. Uh, however, asynchronous BFD protocols are actually rare to use in practice nowadays despite uh, its ideal robustness mostly because there are efficiency issues, and in particular, the seminar FLP impossible results state that no deterministic protocols can realize such protocols. And as a reflection, uh, we know asynchronous BFT protocols are mostly theoretical instead of practical and in their earlier stage. And to Mila et al. presented honey better BFT and gave us hope such protocols may be practical. And since then, more and more interest are uh, gathered on the promising topic. And let's just briefly go over some existing results. And in 2001, the question at all proposed an asynchronous consensus, which later we know it was realized from a sequence of asynchronous common subsets, uh, or uh, call it uh, ACS for short. Here, ACS is a special kind of asynchronous Valentine agreement uh, to agree on a set of n minus f values proposed by different parties and we know n is a number of nodes in the system and f represents the number of bytan time faults and we know optimal f is about a third of n in asynchrony but unfortunately each acs may only solicit n minus f nodes input transaction thus up to f only the nodes input may be constantly dropped and thus be censored from system for example here transaction one was targeted by the adversary and it was blocked. In order to mitigate the censorship threat, one may propose to diffuse each input transaction to more than F plus one on instant nodes in the worst case. And for example, here in the figure, and transaction one is taken as input by all on instant nodes, such that it must eventually output. But clearly, this may cause a big ON factor in the communication cost, which is undesired because it may hurt, uh, it may hurt the throughput a lot. Uh, so put, to prevent a censorship without asymptotically totally large communication costs, uh, Mila et al. proposed Honey Badger BFT and they introduced the threshold encryption to let each node encrypt their, post, their proposed transaction. So the adversary no longer can precisely censor a specific transaction better than make a random guess uh, of blocking F random honest nodes. But we know threshold encryption and decryption can be very costly and the computing them may take a large portion of the overall latency. And also for larger scales, the situation can be even worse because uh, each node needs n square public key operations for the threshold decryption. So uh, in addition, Honey Badger BFT and also uh, its later improvements have a severe tension about uh, between the throughput and latency because they have an execution flow that firstly uh, execute a transaction broadcast and then execute some Biden time agreement to choose at least a minus F already finished broadcast to form an output block. So in order to realize higher throughput in Honey Badger style protocols, one needs very large broadcast batches and this can further cause much larger latency. Uh, we also do experiment test over four uh, distributed AWS servers and confirm the recent honey badger improvement, such as Dambo protocols and dispersed ledger, all have se severe throughput latency tension. And oh, 
Oh, here is DAC, and recently uh, Keda, Keda et al. presented another very novel approach uh, to asynchronous BFD consensus called DigiRadar. And to prevent the censorship of the slow nodes in DigiRadar, it actually let each node forever wait for some unfinished broadcast and eventually link and output them. Of course, eventually output all broadcasted transactions very desired because this is actually uh, known as a property we call strong validity. And it's very useful to defend against the censorship of transactions, actually. For example, a client uh, can contact a small number of just the K random nodes, and it can obtain a probability overwhelming large in K to ensure its transaction eventual output. However, uh, forever waiting for unfinished broadcast may cause extra troubles. Say if a node is crashed, other nodes may keep listening an increasing number of unfinished broadcasts. And it seems that the memory bound imp implementation seems not an easy task. And in a later implementable and more compatible version of this radar called task, it stops from forever listening to the unfinished broadcast and realize a memory bounded implementation in combination with other techniques. But this again may cause up to F honest nodes be censored, such as uh, in CKPS in the worst case. So here is a quick summary of a state of art. We can find that uh, it's still unclear how to design an easy to implement asynchronous BFD consensus with bounding memory, and also realize uh, censorship prevention, low latency, and asymptotically cheap communication costs at the same time. And our goal is to design protocols solving all those issues. So our starting point is an observation that in Honey Badger and Dembo, uh, a lot of um, bandwidth resources are wasted because a sequentially running broadcast and Byzantine agreement modules. And our high level idea uh, is somewhat inspired by task to separate uh, the transaction diffuse and the ledger agreement to avoid undesired, uh, undesired sequentialism. And we plan to let each node continuously broadcast their input transaction batch uh, without being blocked for the agreement. So the transaction broadcast can fully utilize the bandwidth and is promising to solve the throughput latency tension. Uh, also, more than task, we further expect all broadcasted transaction can be picked into the final output so we can have strong validity similar to DH rather. So our street high level idea actually face a couple of concrete challenges to resolve. Firstly, uh, since every node is continuously broadcasting, the honest nodes need to reach agreement on selecting which transactions into which blocks. This is hard because asynchronous network can make different broadcasts to progress in very different speeds, and we have to defend against an adversary that want to cheat about actually progress of the broadcasts. And the second issue is how to ensure all broadcast transactions uh, to eventually output in an easy to implement manner. This is challenging because the uh, adversary actually can crash some nodes and also flood uh, by fake future messages. And this attack may cause a leakage of sending buffer or receiving buffer respectively. Our first ingredient is a multi-shot probable uh, broadcast. It has a simple structure consisting of sequentially uh, running probable multicast. Uh, clearly, it's uh, in its center, just the can multicast the transaction batch to all nodes and then wait for N minus F digital signatures sent back to form a quorum certificate. And then it can just repeat by sending another transaction batch together with a just generated certificate and so on. Uh, so this multi shot broadcast can be easily implemented with bounded memory, actually. In particular, it can bound. Uh, can bound each node's sending buffer and the receiving buffer. And if we assuming there is sufficient disk space to store the transactions, and we can also let each node only has to maintain uh, some latest states of each broadcast in its memory. So, and the second ingredient is a special kind of asynchronous multiple value by downtime agreement uh, with external validity, or we can just call it um, MWB for short. And we know MWB enjoins uh, external validity, so its output must can satisfy a global predicate function uh, uh, that we make it uh, uh, in advance. Uh, in addition, many recent MWB protocols actually enjoin the quality property, so its output can be proposed by some uh, honest nodes with a constant probability. 
for example, like uh, one over two. Uh, if putting both ingredients together, uh, we can have Dambo and G. We let each node to perform a probable multiple sh shot forecast. If some nodes receive the transactions uh, with valid certificates from at least n minus f different broadcast, uh, it can use a vector of the broadcast quorum certificate to invoke an MVB. And we know MVB is well, a validity condition uh, is set up to check uh, there are indeed uh, inputs uh, unvalid certificate for distinct, uh, for distinct broadcast and n minus f out of them should have indeed increased. For example, here, the MVP protocols actually output a vector of quorum certificate uh, rep representing 2, 2, and 3, 3. And these numbers tell us all broadcasts have indeed uh, progressed and they can be used to cut uh, the first block. And then we go to a second block. Uh, we try to use another MVP protocol to decide the second block. Notice that uh, we require the second MVP's predicate function to ensure that at least the n minus f broadcast should have indeed progressed uh, in relative to the first MVB's output. For example, the second MVB protocol output a vector of a quorum certificate representing uh, double four and five three, and this number actually means we have at least the three broadcasts indeed progressed, and we can use this uh, broadcast incremental parts to form a second block. Uh, so why does the concise design of Dembo NG really work? And uh, for the agreement part, it's actually straightforward because uh, all honest nodes must have a unitary decision on how to cut the same broadcasted transactions, thus they must have uh, output the same blocks. And for the lapness part, the honest senders must can broadcast their input transactions uh, with valid certificate and later the quality of MVBs can further guarantee them to be solicited by some finalized blocks. Well, uh, although Dembo NG seems to be concise, actually its implementation actually needs a few special cares. And the first and the most important, uh, the input of MVB protocols actually can be large when the node in the system grew up. So we use MVB extension protocols such as Dembo MVB to implement uh, the MVB module by using Dumbo MVB, uh, each node does not have a does not have to multicast its input to all nodes, and instead it only has to disperse input across a network. And the MVB protocols now can use less network bandwidth, and the broadcast of transactions can see more bandwidth and maintains a large throughput. Uh, in addition, there are also some other important engineering tips uh, due to the time limit. I uh, would like to skip the page and may, and you may kind of find more details in our paper about this part. So we also evaluate the performance of Dembo NG and uh, some uh, existing uh, performance asynchronous BFT, BFT protocols uh, among up to uh, 16 Amazon AWS region and over uh, six, four nodes. First, we measure the maximum throughput and confirm that the peak throughput of Dembo NG actually is multiple times uh, than that of Dembo feeding Dembo and dispersed ledger. And then we evaluate the throughput latency trade-off. And from the minimum throughput to the maximum throughput, it's clear Dembo NG's latency increment is always the smallest among the tested protocols, uh, actually, which is expected. And we see that Dembo NG enjoying the throughput of reverse latency property. And okay, uh, to sum up, uh, Dembo NG actually is a concise and easy to implement asynchronous BFT consensus protocol. And it for the first time realized uh, censorship prevention, low latency, and cheap uh, communication cost at the same time. Uh, despite this result, actually, there are still uh, many interesting open problems left uh, for the design of asynchronous BFT protocols. Uh, due to the time, maybe I only uh, named two. For example, one is how to increase the scalability of such protocols to support more nodes. And the second is whether we can give a practical solution to also ensure some form of family's notion uh, simultaneously. Thank you for your attention and uh, welcome to find more details in our paper. I will stay to the end of the session and for the questions. Thank you.